Let's get dynamic. Can you tell what this file is reading? Okay, we'll grab that. Okay, so correct you under the flag. No, that's not right. That looks like some data. Maybe that's the flag encrypted somehow. We're loading stuff. Yeah, it's more of the flag, not sure. Here's an F get S. That looks like it's gonna read from the keyboard. It's like 49 characters. It's gonna to try to read 49 characters. Give you some more stuff. We call string length. Move 49 again and do this mem compare. We're gonna print a string. Okay. Um, let's compile that. Well, that's interesting. It said I entered the flag. That's clearly not the flag. Um, hmm. All right, so we did see that mem compare. Let's go ahead and take a look there. Let's print the 96 instructions starting at main. Here's my mem compare at main plus 372. Uh, well, let's try that. Let's start it up. All right, so let's do a break on that. Okay, so we're comparing ASDF to something. Pico CTF. We didn't get the whole string. The string's supposed to be 49 characters long. That's odd. So we loaded, we did a 49 get s. We didn't type a string that's long enough. Okay, let's start. Break the mem compare. We can make sure we understand this long enough. Okay, still we're not getting the whole flag. Okay, so it's calling Sterling. Maybe it's calling Sterlin not on what I type in, but on the flag. So what we would want then, let's just do this. So instead of calling Sterlin, I'm just gonna load 49 in the AX. Maybe that will make life better for us. to stop here. All right, Pico CTF dynamic analysis is super useful. So that should be my flag. All right, I don't know what's going on with that. It says, it seems like it should, based on the mem compare, do something different. But it gives me that no matter what. All right, so let's get dynamic. Here's my flag. 
And there you have it.